What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you this message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birthright. All right? I am so excited, so honored, and so blessed to be reading for you. And if this is where we click off, then honey, I am so glad I got to speak that abundance over you, all right? For those of you staying with me, I'm just shuffling up the cards. Going to see if there's any reversals here, actually. Uh, I do read reversals. I just like them to come out based off of intention rather than probability. If another tarot reader does this any differently, that does not mean that their gift is in some way not divine. Okay? We only fix other people's crowns on this channel. Highly recommend you only fuck with people who do the same. Okay? If you're looking for a personal reading, my email is in the bio and probably in the description I'm not seeing any i'm seeing cards flipped around so there's something that you're not it's obviously something unseen huh something you don't see something you're unaware of let's see what's going on let's see what's going on huh passes let's pray over the message thank you angels ancestors and guides for this wonderful message we are about to receive on behalf of the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, to whom I am a part of, but this reading I am not. Please remove my energy out of this reading as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. And thank you to everyone that is bringing the channel up to almost 10,000 subscriptions. I never ask y'all to subscribe, so I really feel like this is a part of, like, this is a community because y'all are here because you actually want to, you know, actually want to listen to to my messages, for or not my messages, but my interpretation of your messages because these are yours. They're exclusive. These messages are exclusive to you. Never the tarot reader. They belong to you, okay, the collective. Anyways, let's get into it. What does Pisces need to know? What is Pisces? I can't take all that. Sorry. That's like a lot of cards. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, page of cups. Interesting. King of swords. The death card. Okay, okay, okay. What else do we have here? Get one more card, please, for Pisces. Mmm. Someone's facing a block. Someone is facing a block and removing a block. Um, straight up. I don't know if this is... Because this is giving... There's Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. There's something about this that's very important for some, a reader to know that this person is more than likely a Scorpio and has Sagittarius in their placement or is a Sagittarius and has Scorpio in their placements. So that's going to be a confirmation for, for somebody. If not, then we're definitely at least picking up this energy towards someone else's message as well. Um, so the first card out is the Page of Cups. Then we have the Six of Swords, the Death card, like I said, the Temperance card reversed. And then we do have the page, and not the page, the Knight of Wands here. And the Knight of Wands speaks of um, confronting uh, a block, confronting something that was in the way. And it seems here that someone has done that and they're moving away from some sort of, I wouldn't even say player energy. I would say, whether this is male or female, I wouldn't even say that, just more of like, moving through relationships without true intention which can be just as bad as player energy like even if you're not seeing multiple people it's to to kind of lead people on without a true intention or an actual agenda or plan with that person um is in a in a very big way manipulative i'm just saying I mean, comment if you if you disagree, but <laughs> feel free to comment, my love. But that's what it seems like here, that this person was kind of in that energy. I, this is not you, Pisces. I don't think this is you. This I'm picking up on someone else's energy, and it's there's something strong about the whole Scorpio thing, Sagittarius thing. You could have met this person through a Scorpio or in Scorpio season. Same thing with Sagittarius. Um, could have been the season or a person that introduced you guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or an anniversary, for example. Oh, let me show you the cards. 
Page of Cups, Six of Swords, Death Card, and the Temperance Reversed. This person needed to transform. Their need, they needed to address this block, this situation, because it was creating imbalance for them. It seems that this person missed out on a huge opportunity, and I'm assuming that that was you, Pisces. That this person gave you a cup similar to what they have given other people in the past who were not as valuable, who were not as important as you. What a shame. What a shame that this per Oh. Ha! Huh? The Emperor card fell out. That's Aries energy. But that's very telling about who this person's, like, what their per where their head was at. Um, in all of this to, to, hmm, a lot of arrogance here, some arrogance here. An emperor isn't someone that really negotiates with other people. They're kind of like, this is the way I move. You either accept it or you don't. Yeah, this person had very conflicting energy. This could have been an Aries because I'm getting double Aries right here with the, and we had the Sagittarius card. There might, this, this person more than likely is a fire sign. This is a fire sign or a fire mixed with water sign. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This person is steamy. They feisty. Can I get two more cards before I break down this message? Thank you. One more card, please. One more card. I don't know if this person is going to be able to get back in with you. Because right, that's what I'm... That's. I mean, why is this message coming out, really? I'm going to get more on who this person is, but then I want to ask why this message is coming out. So yeah, see, nine of... Mm, this person regrets, they've, they've gone through a time of contemplation, heavy contemplation, self-reflection for sure. We've got six in the first message and then six of coins again, like two sixes, right? In your reading so far and sixes in, for, in tarot are about self-reflection. So this person has gone through a heavy time. This person, uh, there's something about the Pisces, not Pisces, the Scorpio element. That sign is screaming through this reading. But I'm also picking up strong fire energy. We have Sagittarius. We've got double Aries here with the full card and the and the Emperor card. This person is wanting to take a chance, take a risk, and come back to you. Um, they want to talk to you. They know that you are gonna have you're gonna have something to say to them. They know that you will be judging them if when they speak to you. Um, and it seems that this person is willing to take that chance because they know they have to give equally. This person does not like this. This person is really unhappy about the approach they're having to take. But the reality is, if you're a cross watcher, this is the, this and you, this is what you created. This is the mess you created. Do you know Pisces ain't going to come to you? And I know, I know cross watcher that you are hoping and praying and wishing that Pisces takes a chance and comes back to you with this coin because Pisces, this person is hoping that you do take a chance on them and you just randomly reach out and because you because you were always like that, right? You were always just that nice and that caring and that thoughtful. No, Pisces ain't doing that. Listen, Crosswatcher, Pisces is not gonna do that. In fact, listen, I'm a Pisces and I'm in Pisces corner. I'm a tarot reader for Pisces. Okay, this channel is to honor them. I don't monetize my channel, Crosswatcher. With that being said, when I tell you to please hold your breath, and I can't wait till you turn purple, I mean it. Because what the fuck? What, what makes you think that? <laughs> I'm dead serious. What makes you think that Pisces is going to come back? They're not. To I need to burst your bubble right now. They're not. And Pisces, this message is coming out because this person is trying to take over your reading. And they are kind of hoping and wishing and praying that you will for whatever reason, reach out. They, they're they hoping just even for a little, hey, hey, how are you? Even that they'll take it and they'll run with it. Pisces, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. Um, you are more than likely thinking about this person or they have crossed your mind recently. And you're probably wondering, well, why is this person crossed my mind? I, I healed about this person. Like I, I, you know, I've moved on from this person. It's because they're in your energy. It's, you're asking the wrong question. Why is this person in my energy? No. Why am I in their energy? Think about it. You need to claim your power. Call it back. 
Because when you recognize your power, you recognize when someone's tapping into it. And some of y'all aren't recognizing that this person is tapping into your power. By thinking about you, by fantasizing about you, by daydreaming, by even masturbation, all kinds of, you know what I'm saying? They're thinking about you. This person wants you, but they're hoping you come back to them. And it's bullshit. Because they, they know they have to come to you. I know it's unpleasant for you, Cross Watcher, but you're going to have to do it. And here, we got the, the Emperor card, the Fool card, the Queen of Pentacles here, and the Six of Pentacles. This person is having to come in and give equally, not you. Not you. You are grounded and centered. There is no reason for you to budge from this fucking chair. Okay? And do you see this this emperor kind of at attention at his um at his throne kind of kind of like watching something almost and in anticipation just taking the imagery there kind of feeling like I'm in control of this. I know how I manipulated this situation. Pisces will come back to me. Nope. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, Captain. It's it, I mean Listen, this is what you did, Cross Watcher. Nine of Swords. You created this ending over and over again with Pisces. I don't know what makes you think that they're just... Why would they hit you up? What makes you think that this Pisces is even... That you're even a thought to them? That's wild to me. Listen, Pisces, some Cross Watcher or, or the energy of someone that is literally in your energy is, is taking over your reading. And <laughs> it seems this this is a this is a stubborn adult child is what is what I would call this this woman or man because they are realizing that they are going to have to bite the bullet and contact you, reach out to you, but not just that. When they show up, because they rejected you, because they did all this hoot hooting and hollering, okay, all this bullshit. Pushing you away, pushing you away, distancing themselves, giving you crumbs, breadcrumbing you, all that bullshit. They know that they're if they show up, they have to show up and show out. And they don't like this. So they are hoping and praying to God that you are picking up on the vibes that they're sending out to you. And many of you are, uh, I'm sorry to say, I, I, it's, it's such a shame that they are actually influencing some of you. Because some of you are probably wondering, why am I thinking about this person? Mm-mm. It's not wrong question. Flip the question. They thinking about you. They thinking about you. You're innocent and sweet and kind and naive. Okay. <laughs> You're not realizing you need to switch that question. It's not why, why are they in my energy? No, it's why are they in my energy? Uh, why are they in your energy? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's different. It's different. Because you're, you're thinking, oh, well, they're in my energy. No, you're in theirs. You're on their mind. Hard, heavy, so much that you can feel it. You're Pisces. Are you kidding me? Your intuition fucking... <laughs> so I, that's probably some confirmation and validation for some of you listening that you're kind of wondering. I know Pisces. Listen, I'm a Pisces too. And little, little red signals when they go off like that, like, why am I thinking about this person? You start going inward. And start questioning, is there something that I haven't healed? Is there something I'm not addressing? I don't want you to do that to yourself. Of course, there, you'll know if you, you need to do that. But th in this message, I don't want this person's eagerness and attempts to tap into your energy. You know what I'm saying? To draw you back in. I don't want you to mix that up for thinking you want them back. Stay true to what you know. You know you healed. You know you you know you moved on, right? That's what I'm saying. You know this person hurt you. If they want to come back, if they need to come back, then they should be the ones. You should not contact them. So if you've been feeling like you need to contact someone, Pisces, um, for whatever reason, extend an olive branch, get closure, I don't know. It's really that person that's been thinking that. This is coming in strong. <laughs> this is coming in very strong. We're 14 minutes in. Isn't that the halfway point for Pisces season? Yeah, man. Um, so let's see why this is coming. Or, or I know more, more about who this person is now. We've identified who this person is for many of you. I want to know why this message is coming in because it sounds like they're going to be coming in fast or maybe you just didn't hear it. So let's confirm why this message is coming out and then we can wrap it up. I don't really like it when other people take over your messages. 
Yeah, this is confirming it. Judgment card. This person is feeling the pressure of having to come in and bring this back from the dead. They are feeling the pressure. I don't know what has happened recently to this person, but they got some sort of wake up call. They got some sort of wake up call with this judgment. Some sort of wake up call. Ooh, I know what the wake up call was, baby. It was a tower moment. They had an ending of some sort. There is something that happened in their life recently. Let's talk about it. What's going on? Oh. Well, that is the hangman reversed. It's not a good place to be because your intuition is scattered. This is chaotic energy. This is chaotic energy um, mentally. This person, something, they got some sort of wake up call after an ending and their, their mind is frazzled. That's why this is coming in. No wonder they're thinking about you so much is because everything is screaming Pisces, 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 Pisces. Whatever they did or whoever they chose, whatever your situation was with this person, when I tell you that they've had some sort of, this isn't the first, I got it. Listen, I got a message recently about a wake up call that someone got some kind of wake up call and they're coming back to you or whatever. I am not necessarily sensing that this is the same exact Pisces or person that I'm talking about, but there's something about that message, that pattern for the collective. And I talked about this even about a month ago. That in general, people are entering, re-entering the Pisces collective randomly. Friends, old family members, co -work. The past is just coming in in general because people are, are clearing out their karmic debts. You, Pisces, has a, have a karmic credit. You don't owe nobody shit. So these people are coming in because they are clearing out debts. With that being said... You are holding a very high place in the spiritual realm as as a, as a karmic justice. All that love that you gave out that you said, wow, I gave it out for no reason. There's people that are starting to come back, not necessarily because they, of course, they want your love back. They want you back, right? But you are needing that back. People are coming back and hand delivering your power that they took from you and their energy and the energy that they stole from you. People are coming back and hand delivering it. Obviously it's up to you Pisces if you wanna take any of these people back, but I want you to be prepared. There's gonna be more connections that return, bro. There are work connections, clients, old coworkers, but you can be running into people at the grocery store and be like, fuck, why'd I have to run into this person kind of shit? But then they apologize and say, hey, I just wanna tell you about that day, blah, blah. People are trying to hand you back your power and hand you back the energy they stole from you. Let those kinds of moments happen. Don't seek them out. But when they do happen, take it. That's a little side note. Because this person right here is, again, judgment card. They had a wake up call after a tower moment. Okay. And this frazzled their foundation, their, 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 their sense of stability. This is someone that's usually very stability, very stable. A lot of mind over heart decisions. That's probably, that had a lot to do with the downfall, obviously, of you guys even getting together because you're not so, Pisces is not, is not so heart over, mind over heart in our decision making. <laughs> We're very heart over heart. <laughs> kind of, kind of um, zodiac sign. And after this hangman reversed, so that scattered energy, that's when this person said, what am I doing with this coin? I think I'm ready to fight for this. I'm in my armor. This person decided to get on their horse. They didn't know they don't know what they're doing yet, but they know that they have to come in. That's what I'm saying. This is all stemming from this person knowing that they have to come in. That's why they're taking over your reading. And if you want to know why they want to come in, I'm going to show you right here. Confirmation. Girl, I can't I can't make this shit up. I don't know who this was in your life, this fire or water sign that was in your life, because we got Scorpio again. We've got Aries. Aries, Aries, yeah, wait, for let's talk about Major Arcana. We got Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Aries, Leo, um, Scorpio, um, Pisces. Like, this is either a water or fire sign, straight up, or a mixture. I'm really sensing heavy that this is a, a fire sign or water sign with a lot of um, the other placements. You know what I mean? Two of Cups. This person wants a union with you. 
They desire this back. They want this back. They're waking up to this. They are not just waking up to it. They've known for a long time. They've known for a long time and then they even fooled themselves into saying, no, 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 it's fine. That Pisces walked away. I didn't want it to end up like that. This person's ego didn't let them give in and chase after you when you finally said, I'm walking away. They should have came after you. You know it, Pisces, that this person should have walked after you, called you, whatever. They should have never let you go. They should have never created a space for you to even consider walking away. But they damn sure had many opportunities to not let you slip through their fingers. And they did. They let you slip through their fingers like fucking water. They did. And now they want this two of cups. This is what they want. That's why this message is coming out. There was a lot of clearing energy in this reading. I think there was a lot of messages that you Pisces needed to hear about possible manipulative tactics at play in your energy right now. And I don't want your heart getting confused because no, we're not doing that. I speak protection and true love and true intention over your life. I rebuke anything that is not aligned with you and is not meant for you and your higher self. And if this, this person, the reality is... <laughs> For some of you, this is a soulmate. For some of you, this is a karmic. Um, for others of you, this is a lost opportunity. For others of you, this is going to be a day of fate where some confrontations are going to, you know, some some conversations, not confrontation. Ooh, maybe it's going to be confrontation, but some conversations are going to happen. All I know is that this person is on their way back to you after self-reflection, after a tower moment. They have, want this two of cups with you. I'm not sensing that we should end this. Give me more on this situation. We got King of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. This is someone that you tried to give your cup to and they refused you. This could have happened up to four times, three to four times. They rejected you or you said, listen... Because this person, listen, it's not like, it's. Mm -mm, I'm not going to let this go. It's not like Pisces, <laughs> like this person, like you didn't make it clear. You kept giving this person chances. This is a past version of yourself. You're not like this anymore. You really made yourself available to this person. You really handed your cup to them. You made a space, you made space for them. You made time for them. You gave so much of your energy to this person more than you needed to you don't do that anymore and it's not because you're cold or resentful or bitter but because you've made a conscious choice to harness it like a reservoir and to and to not open up those floodgates until someone earns the key and good on you good on you because this person thinks I think they think they're coming back to what was. Now, there's this part of them that I know for a fact knows that's probably not. They're hoping, hoping that they come across the same optimistic, sweet, kind-hearted, altruistic Pisces. And even though you are those things still, Pisces, you um, only, only hand out, only hand out your cup of love to a select few now. This is someone that you knew had a big offer for you. You knew it. Male or female, this was king of, of pentacles. You knew and you could even sense that there was something big about this connection. You could sense the potential. It was overwhelming for you. It was overwhelming for you not getting to just live this experience out and see what could have been. That must have been really annoying here. Not just annoying, extremely frustrating, painful, hurtful. We got the four of, of cups here. Four is about alignment. This person was not aligned with you. You were trying to give your cup to them. You must have done this several times. And guess what they did? They were not in a position to receive. They were not in a position to receive. 
even though they were so focused, you guys even might have had sex but not gotten into a relationship. That's what I'm saying. Seven of coins. This is someone that really... You don't know this, Pisces, but the whole time when you gave them this cup and they were saying no to you, they were actually thinking, should I... Like, because they knew there was potential here. So they wondered, should I invest in this? Should I invest in this? Because they knew that there could be a great harvest. Stupid. Let's get the fourth card here. Stupid. There might have been a third party interference. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Leave it in the comments. Damn. Yo, this is crazy. Listen, at the beginning of this reading, the crossing energy, I'm pretty sure if you rewind, was, yeah, it was the Knight of, of Pentacles. I mean, not Pentacles, Knight of Wands. And the what we came, what came out just now as your fourth card is two cards, and that's the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands. This is someone that, remember how I told you they're removing a block? This person is removing a block, they're transforming something, and it's their truth. They're wanting to live authentically. They might have, I think there was many things that they told you as far as excuses as to why you guys didn't get together, why the connection was not successful, why it didn't result in union. That were straight up fucking lies. Straight up lies. This person might have said something like, I love you, but I'm not going to marry you. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, things that asinine things. This person is looking back and just kicking themselves because they buried they buried such a deep uh such a deep grave for themselves honestly they have and no wonder they're so upset that they they're like I just I wish Pisces would contact me I wish Pisces would make this easy for me cross watcher when the fuck did you make it easy for my Pisces I saw that nine of swords. Like I, I'm, I'm really bothered at, at what you put Pisces through. Pisces spent sleepless nights thinking about you, desiring you, wanting you is what I'm seeing and sensing here. Hoping, praying, wishing that you would come to your senses. Because they could feel so strongly what was going on and they could predict the regret that you would have cross watching. This is stupid with two O's, bro. I mean, Ace of, this is literally someone having to come in. In order to remove this block, they have to tell their truth. This is going right back to the beginning of this message. This is came full circle now. Of what someone's going through. I just, Someone's energy literally took over this reading. Literally took over this reading. They are so obsessed with coming in. Crossing this energy is this page of pentacles. They're really wondering if, the, if you're going to take this coin when they come in. I would be concerned too. Oh, I would be so concerned. Hmm. Pisces, this is, listen, the reason this is coming out is for several reasons spoken, but above all, what's standing out is you needing to know that there's someone pulling you into their energy. It's not that this person is in your energy. Someone's dragging you into their energy by fantasizing about you, daydreaming about you, strategizing um, how to contact you, hoping that you contact them, okay? Literally trying to astral project um, into your dreams and into your world, I'm telling you. So flip-flop that question, baby, whenever you ask that to yourself. Why, why is this person in my energy? No. Why are you in theirs? Are you in theirs? Ask for signs from your spirit team. I'm telling you. Call your energy back. Return to sender three times. Say it over and over. Return to sender, return to sender, return to sender. Okay? Make sure you guys are cleansing your home and stuff. And so that way, when people are trying to figure out their shit, because some of this is deep, right? There's these attachments there, strong emotions, possibly even tears, possibly fears. I don't know what's going on, but I'll tell you one thing. The most powerful thing that you could ever have is the power of the tongue. Words are powerful. 
calling someone back, calling your, I mean, it's powerful. And this person is talking about their, to their therapist, I think, to their friends, to coworkers. I mean, uh, you have, you have two sixes in this reading. What other reoccurring, do you have any other reoccurring numbers? No, you don't have reoccurring numbers other than, other than the, the two sixes that we have. And that's about self-reflection, deep self-reflection and transformation and I'm just kind of looking at this like this is unbelievable yeah if you need a personal reading guys let me know um I just want to give advice to you guys when you're when you're going to a tarot reader for personal readings and stuff um sometimes you shouldn't just be asking about a person of interest like of course maybe that's what brought you right to tarot is because there's a person of interest but if you decide to get a personal reading ask a question I tend to put these questions in in for for clients but just in case you go to another tarot reader right ask what that person's personal goals and love are that'll eliminate a lot of bullshit if you could know what that person's personal aspirations and goals are in love that will let you know if this person is even aligned with you asking if you have any blocks in your life not just your love life okay Asking not just do you have a soulmate or how many soulmates you are or who your soulmate is or when they're coming in, but what is the purpose of this waiting period? Okay? Because, listen, like I said before, I don't monetize this channel. It's to honor my sun sign, Pisces. I'm a Pisces sun. I, my calling is to remind you of your power. And, and the way you can access your power is through knowledge. Knowing that abundance is your birthright. Knowing all these different things like cleansing yourself, calling back your power, even saying return to center when you feel negative vibes or something like that. Someone's an asshole on the road, return to center, return to center, return to center. Okay? So I'm going to just leave you all with that. Little tricks of the trade. I love you so much. Okay? As soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, I definitely plan on giving away a free reading. I'm going to pull pull on the full moon every full moon um a free a free reading and if of course there's two full moons in a month you guys we're doing two free readings the fuck absolutely <laughs> absolutely i love you guys like i said i care about you um and if if anything if you leave this like i really hope that this gave someone some sort of validation and confirmation because this was crazy having this person just kind of sneak into your energy here and then seeing this page of, of pentacles at the end of this. I'm like, I can't believe this person's sitting here hoping and wishing that Pisces makes it easy for them. How dare you? Honestly, the audacity. And you know what's crazy too? I have to speak honestly. This person's in love with you. This person's in love with you. They want to do right by you and they want to marry you and they want to treat you like a queen or king for the rest of your life. They literally want to come in and turn everything around and they actually do mean it. I don't think you're going to get to see that part of them. And that's shame on them, not shame on you. What? They're the ones that broke your trust. Because Pisces, if I've been telling you guys this for a long time, we're not doing the whole FOMO thing. Fear of missing out. We're not doing romance FOMO. Of being attracted to people just because they say they like you, just because they want you back. No, don't do that. Fear of missing out. No. If it's not a match, it's not a match for you. Some of you are going to give this person a chance. For some of you, it's going to work out. It's, this is going to be like a moment out of a fucking novel kind of shit, literally. For others of you, you're going to tell this person, I appreciate you reaching out. It means a lot what you had to say. But I send you on your way, friend. Some of you ain't even going to answer the phone. Some of you might curse this person the fuck out. Whatever you do, I want you to know I support you. Okay, bye.